Sullivan, Melissa Crook here, designer for DeVellosDesigns.com. Um, today, we're going to be showing you how I created this card that I'm calling What's a Mermaid. It's very nice and shiny. Okay, so for the supplies that you're going to need, to do this card you will need to start with a piece of multifarious card and I used the 7x7 seven seven, and I cut it down to a 5 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters and then you'll need a white mat that is a six by six square. This I used a blue metallic mat that's a six and a half by six and a half, and the base is a seven by seven. This is not multifarious card for the base or the mat, it's just cardstock, white cardstock, 110 pound. Okay, and then for the I'm going to go with the inks first. So for the inks, I used Distress Oxide and I used Peacock Feathers, Mermaid Lagoon, Blue Pint Sketch. For the sky, I used Kitsch Flamingo, Dusty Concord, and Villainous Potion. You're going to need some kitchen plastic wrap. This is just Walmart plastic wrap. For the stamping, we're going to use VersaFine Claire. Use Nocturne. Twilight. Monarch. Charming Pink and rainforest to color the rock that Guinevere sits on I use graphite by elements looking ink stamps I'm going to need a circle mask for the moon you will need some masking tape this is sweet poppy low tech stencil tape I used Wow embossing powder in Spring Breeze. You will need a water brush. I used an acetate hill mask. You'll need a stamping platform or, or an acrylic block. I used my Tonic Studios, Tim Holtz, full sized to do that. I used this Nuvo sweeping brush, your embossing gun. Um, I'll need some, I used some blending brushes to do the background. You'll need water, and I used. These pens, they are the Jelly Roll Stardust, and I used purple, green, orange, both, to, both tones of the blue, and clear. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to start by doing the background first and we have our Distress Oxide Peacock Feathers, Blueprint Sketch, and Mermaid Lagoon. We're going to start with doing the water on the bottom first. So what we're going to do is just lay down some color and we're going to use just our little blending brushes and I have one for blues. 
leaves. And then we have one for greens. So we're going to start with the peacock feathers. And just ink up. And we're just going to lay some ink down in a swooping side to side motion. I'm just putting this paper down to protect this mat. to our Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm pushing rather hard on this. Now this doesn't really matter how it looks right now for the blending because we're going to cover it with some plastic wrap to get the effect of water ripples. So now just using regular kitchen roll plastic wrap. Tear off the sheet of that. And we're not going to cover the whole card, just where the water is, and this is going to be our sky up here. So I'm going to kind of lay it down. Now we're going to just take our ink pads and we're just going to kind of smoosh it onto the plastic. And they're very random. We're going to take our water bottle. Move that out of the way so I don't get it wet. And I'm just going to spritz that. I'm going to fold it. And just let it move around. We're going to lay our card down. I really probably have too much. I have a nice big pool there and I don't want that one. So I'm just going to pick up some of it with my paper towel. The card back down. Okay. And very carefully, we're just going to put it on there. Okay. And you can see anywhere where these little crinkles are in the plastic. It's going to give you these lines in your water. That's pretty good, but I want a little bit more, so I'm just going to add just a tiny bit. I'm going to spritz that and that. And now you can just let this dry naturally and just let it sit when you know you'll know it's dry when the plastic starts to lift off of the card. So we're going to give that a minute and let it dry naturally. And I'll be back as soon as it's done.
So we're back and this is dry now and you can tell because it just completely just lips off. So we'll just set that off to the side and you can see the watery wavy background. Next thing we're going to do is stamp and emboss the medium swing. I'm going to line that up to where it shows halfway through the water. And we're going to stamp up using our Versafine Clear Rainforest. We're going to emboss it. And I just have a coffee filter here to collect that extra. And I'm using the Wow Spring Breeze embossing powder with glitter. Gives a nice shine and then that'll resist. Okay, now we're going to do the sky part of the background. And we're going to start with Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide. I'm going to take our blending brush. Ink up pretty good. And we're just going to do circular motions and do a blend. Until it's dry, and you can just wipe over the swing, and it wipes all that ink off. Okay, and now we are going to move on. Oops, I want those colors in there, and we are going to now. Go ahead and stamp our mermaid. So we have, and we're just going to position her to where she's kind of in the sunlight there with her tail still in the water.
and I'm inking up um, in Nocturne. It's a little light on our tail, so I'm just going to not move anything. I'm just going to get up again. And then back down. Much better. Put that up to the side. We're going to now take Bella, our little fairy that's going to be sitting in the swing, and we're going to position it to where just her, the foot and the hand match. Right there. And then we're going to take just a small piece of our low tech stencil tape and we're just going to mask off. The flowers. Just right there. So now we're going to just pull the tape off of the stamp. Get rid of that. And then where I missed, just Wipe that up. Still looks good. Now we're going to take the, we're going to take the moon mask and we're going to place that right over Guinevere there. Go back to our, let's take our blue brush and I'm not going to add any ink to it. I'm just going to just very lightly just blend that out so just a very basic simple moon sun there in the background now we're going to take our um, vine step and we're just going to position that
poly roll pin and this kind of color on the hair still all the little things Okay, now we're going to mount this. So I have my seven by seven square mat. 
and my metallic blue with six and a half by six and a half. the sparkles. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you would like to follow our Facebook pages, we have Adele Bellows Designs Lounge for the Lavinia stamps and Adele Bellows Designs a la carte for all the other stamping items and crafty things that Patty sells at DeBellosDesigns.com. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.